uh, hit electrotherapy, and we've done interferential. That's where you have four pads. We've done pre-mod where you set up two separate channels. Those are both medium frequency. We've done high volt. And so now the two that we can use are either, I think it's funny that they're like set up so weird, but asymmetrical biphasic or symmetrical biphasic. These are both tens. Between these two, the one that says asymmetrical and symmetrical, I found when I compared them, <laughs> when I compared these two, I felt the asymmetrical was more comfortable because it kind of goes like this. It goes, I'm turning on and now I'm on versus the symmetrical is like, I'm on, I'm off, I'm on, I'm off. And just in terms of my body, I kind of like the nice swooping gentleness of the asymmetrical, okay? So I'll just, these two screens, by the way, be identical. So I could have gone to either. Choose edit. And you just set all the settings that we, we've been just doing. So I'm gonna look at my conventional chart. It says 50 to 100 Hertz. That'd be this. So I can set it up to, I could have left it at 80, couldn't I have? But I told you, basically, it, I always tend to pick the highest frequency in a range, if given a range. It doesn't matter, it's just my, my way of doing it. Um, how long, what's a phase duration? What's another way to say phase duration? Pulse, pulse. width, or pulse duration, exactly. So. We're going to change this. 300 microseconds sounds like it's really on for a long time, doesn't it? What was our range? We wanted to go from 40 to 75. Me thinks I got to bring this down a lot. That's too low. There we go. Oh, oh, what? 80, 60. 80, 60, 80, 60, 40, 80. No, what? Okay, so I'll do 40 because that's where I should go. Okay, 40 microseconds how long it's on going pretty fast no burst what's a frequency modulation gonna mean it's gonna change in the frequency range hey let's go push it and see what happens so you can actually set it so if I set it like to 80 I could say go up 20 and go down 20 and that would keep me within the 50 to 100 range Do you guys get that so if I wanted to create some sweep I could. I'm not going to. What's an amplitude modulation? You guys learned that from medium frequency. The intensity. Yeah. So basically, let's go look at it. Oh, it's our familiar friend. 40% amplitude modulation. So you actually can set the intensity, and then it'll go down and up and down and up so you don't get used to it. That's up to you if you want to do it. Let's just not for now. Let's keep it at off. <laughs> We'll set the two pads up, or the two leads coming off of here. We'll set up four pads. You can crisscross because it'll feel better. You turn it up and you just talk to the person when they feel tingling and keep it at tingling. So it's only at two milliamps right now and you can go anywhere from 10 to 30 milliamps. If you get all the way up, I don't want to turn this all the way up. Let's just say, let's pretend that, that says 30. It doesn't, it says three. But what if that says 30 and the person didn't feel tingling? What could I adjust to make them feel it more? Duration. So what I would do is turn it down and then lengthen the duration, bump it up by apparently 20. They only go in increments of 20, it's scary. You guys okay with that? Yeah. Other than shoulder dislocations going on. Okay, that's it. Hit start, walk away.